Well, happy hump day, everybody. Here we are. It is Wednesday. It is the very last day of May, if you can believe it. Um, and Mom Khan finds herself with a whole bunch of leftover hamburgers. And not wanting to eat hamburgers for the third day in a row, I thought to myself, well, what am I going to do with these? And I thought, wait a minute, Salisbury steaks. So basically what I'm going to do is make the gravy for the Salisbury steak and just nestle the burgers in there and voila, Salisbury steaks. So in the oven, I am roasting some potatoes and some broccoli. So that's going on. So let's bring you down to oven level. So you can see what's going on here at the stove. So over my favorite uh, saute pan here, I have some olive oil that I would have cooked the burgers in. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna get that. Tells me my oven didn't get the memo. Ugh. Huh? Just pull it. Okay, so now that we have the butter melted and it's all over my stove, we're going to add some flour and we are going to whisk that around until we don't have any lumps. Okay, because basically what you're making is a gravy. So. We're going to whisk that around until the lumps are gone. Everything is nice and smooth. And again, you remember, flour is raw, so we need to cook it a little bit. So this is nice and brown. It's going to have a, a, a nice little slightly nutty flavor to it when you brown your butter. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to add a cup and a half of beef stock. I'm also going to add some Worcestershire. A, that's a teaspoon. This is a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And this is a tablespoon of ketchup. I'm going to put that all in there. Okay, so we're going to kind of get this mixed around and let it come to a simmer. Because what it will do with that roux that we have in the bottom, this is going to start to thicken. So then what's going to come up next, as soon as I get this up to a boil, I'm going to add my sliced mushrooms. And we're going to let them simmer for about five minutes so they get nice and soft. And then I'm going to nestle the burgers in here to let them just get warm. And, you know, that five minutes while the mushrooms are simmering is also going to help the gravy thicken up. So, basically, that's what's going on. Um, nothing too difficult. Now I think I need to turn it up, turned it down too far. But um, I guess it will get this <clears throat> to a boil and then we'll reduce it a little bit so that it just simmers and we're going to add those mushrooms in there. And we'll simmer it for like five minutes. And then put the burgers in there to get warm. And then we'll just, it'll be what's for dinner. So um, that's what's going on. I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. And I appreciate you tuning in today. Um, thank you very much. Uh, to everybody who takes the time to watch what I'm doing. And uh, I appreciate it if you hit the like button. 
please send me your comments. I'd like to hear what you think, good, bad, or indifferent. And um, make sure you subscribe, share it with your friends, and I will be seeing you in just a little bit. Bye.